Welcome once again to a long-awaited installment of Artemis Fowl's Inventions. <clears throat> it's been a while since I've done anything on this channel, and I understand that. I've been doing stuff for a while on visual vapor reviews ever since I started a brand new channel. I've been really busy with that, and I haven't had much of a chance to upload on my Iron Man suits. My Iron Man suits took a bit of a nosedive. Um, all the suits that you're used to seeing have been taken apart except for the Mark 15 or the new Hyper Pulse armor. Um, that suit was kept and the Mark 2 was improved upon drastically. I haven't had much chance to really talk about it. You guys can see that I was vaping a little bit. Um, but the suit has been improved upon. It's finally been filled in. A lot of improvements have been made to the actual suit. I'm going to open it up put it on and you guys will be able to see it. But first, let's pick it up and show you guys what it looks like now. So this is the Mark II suit. It's got a lot of paneling difference and we'll go over that as soon as I'm inside of it. So let's open her up and put her on. <laughs> You'll, you guys will probably also notice a location difference as well. I, if you guys haven't been watching my channel much, you'll know that, you don't know that I moved in with my fiance Ariana who is now my official manager for the Visual Vapor Reviews channel. She handles everything from finances to management. She is the most important and integral person in my channel. Hey, baby. Hey. So it's been a while since I've done my video. Oh, for, uh, Speaking of her, she's right here. <laughs> yep, here she is. She's an awesome person. I love her. And she just made slime. She's been working, and she loves making slime. So a lot of the parts to the actual suit are the same. Do not put that in my ear. A lot of the parts to the suit are actually the same, but there are also a lot of changes. So I'm gonna... <laughs> Hello, baby. I know. Hold on. <laughs> yes, so they can see me. So you'll see that putting on the suit is pretty very pretty similar to when I first put it on. Let's see. Okay, everything is intact. Okay, so let's get my shirt straightened out so you guys can see this. So you'll notice that when it's open, the suit is very similar to the Mark II when it was starting off. We have the fold-up cod plate. We have the chest piece ready to go. So we'll just move right into it. So you'll notice here that it locks in really simple. Then we'll just close up the rest of it, there we go, fold in this piece, lock this up, now we have the first parts of the suit complete, so this is what it basically looked like for the longest time, then I did major improvements on it, in which the rest of the suit folded over like this, locked in the shoulder plate pads, move this up a little bit, there we go. We'll fold up these pieces, connect them to the middle, and there we go. So a lot of color change has also happened in that time, but what's finished also is the rest of the over armor. So a lot of the plating was added to so that we could, so that it would fill in the gaps, so to speak, figuratively and literally. <laughs> but there we go. So. We'll close these pieces in, lock that there, oh, right thought, wrong connection port. <laughs> there we go. And then finally, these two pieces, now you'll notice there are pieces missing here, that's where the, these pieces up here come in. So this will connect here, there. And there we go, we're fully suited up. So the Mark II has drastic paneling improvements. We have, ch I have since changed the overall paneling look. I've filled in the sides finally. At long last, I've filled in all of this, all of the paneling designs for the sides. It's a lot more comfortable and mo mobile. I've made it more, um, more flexible in the chest area and you'll see a lot of paneling design. This piece is still the same, however I took out the light up piece to the arc reactor and 
changed the um, connections from a white rod to a green rod for the entire width so it doesn't jut out from my chest as far. So it's no longer compatible with the Hulkbuster armor that I took apart recently because it's just not, I mean, the Hulkbuster is a good suit but it needed a lot of work constantly so I decided to step away from the Hulkbuster scene for a while and work primarily on the suit that pretty much started it all. This was the most complex suit for the longest time and now it is indeed my most complex suit. The Mark 15 armor has been changed drastically. It's had some piece upgrade, part upgrades. Um, the Mar this Mark II armor is, well, I should say it's now closer to the Mark um, 46 because it opens up down the middle and down the back so that I can step out of it really simplistically. I'm not going to really, I'm not sure if I'll do that. Maybe I will. Hold on. Mm. No, I can't really reach those pieces right now, so I'm going to leave it as is. I'm not going to take it off that way. But what I love about this is there are a lot more panels to move and open. I actually might just fill in this entire paneling with the outer parts of the suit so that I can close down the skeletal look and fill in more of the armor look. Because now that I've got the skeletal figure down for the armor so that I can move and wear it comfortably, I have to get the actual armor design. Now, for those of you who have been seeing my videos for a long time, um, Artemis Files Inventions took a bit of a nosedive and went to visual vapor reviews for my, for my vape reviews, and I haven't really had much time to do my suits. So, while I'm here, um, Avengers Infinity War took a huge hit in the box office. It was an amazing um, movie. I absolutely loved it, so I went ahead and built the Infinity Gauntlet. Now, there's a theory going around before I do this, and I'll show you guys this, that the reason that um, Doctor Strange gave over the, inf the Time Stone was because that he foresaw that Tony would kill Thanos. So he gave up the Time Stone to save Tony's life. So say it together. <laughs> no, I'm not. So say it together with me. Tony Stark is going to kill Thanos. <laughs> Pretty easy to do. But this is the Infinity Gauntlet with all the um, individual stones. One, two, three, four, five. And then finally, six. So, I'm going to put it on, show you guys how it looks, and connect it. So each finger is connectable and mobile. You guys haven't seen this yet, so I figured I might as well do it. I've made hand designs before for connects, but they weren't really functional. My Iron Man hand is, was my best gauntlet to date, but this is my first really complex mobile gauntlet design. Hmm. Okay. The fingers are fully flexible. <laughs> Rock on. And all the infinity stones sit right up top and on the side here. So I really like it. It's a very comfortable gauntlet. Originally it was designed as a gauntlet for um, full Metal Alchemist, where the entire piece would come off. Um, I believe it was Edward, Alph Edward Alphonse that, um, I believe it was, I believe it was, an, uh, it was for Edward's arm, for, um, I believe it was Edward's piece because it had the sword coming off of it, and eh, it was just a cool little design, but I found, oh, saw Infinity War and I was like, okay, I can make the Infinity Gauntlet from this, but it was really cool. Hold on, just so. But yeah, so as I was saying, I was working on the Gauntlet for the longest time. I finally rebuilt um, the arm pieces so it's fully mobile right here, and it's all connected by pistons, but then I have to make a shoulder cap so that I can cap off that piston look. So it'll lift up, but at the same time it won't get in the way of the pistons. That'll take a little bit longer because the Mark IV, um, the new Mark 46 armor is really touchy right now to upgrades. All the original parts have been broken in and are used to flexing in the way the suit is made to flex. The new parts that I've replaced the parts with that were bendable are still hard cover and they don't really move as much, but now that I've finished these up, so you'll notice that 
there used to be big openings right here. I'll open this piece up so you guys can see what it used to look like, really used to look like. Let's see. Oh, there we go. So, these pieces come off here. Then this here disconnects. Then that comes here. There we go. So basically, without these, this is what the suit looked like. And there was a lot of holes here, and it left a lot of the parts actually open because there was a lot of gapage here and here. So I had to make something that would cover that. That's where these come in. So if you'll notice, when this comes up and locks in place, it covers all right here. Same with this side. This piece comes up and around, locks in place, covering. Oh, that's why. <laughs> Here I am thinking pieces are breaking off. This um, design took actually a very long time to build, but at the same time, it was well worth it. So once I connect these pieces in, I'll have this ready to go. And there we go, the suit built itself, or it can rebuild parts of itself to, well, I can build parts of the suit back to itself, so it's ready to go and usable when I need it. So it's a pretty straightforward design, the suit, it consists of, I actually haven't done a part count wow, yet, wow, okay, guess that's something else to do. And then, on my other channel, Visual Vapor Reviews, they sent for my because Avengers Infinity War was such a huge box office hit, and because I'm such an uh, such an Iron Man nerd, they are sending me a prop grade Mark 42 Iron Man gauntlet with a lift up laser pro piece that comes off from the side and a light up repulsor. So that's coming in for me, and I'm really excited about it. Hi, honey. Hi. Did you put stuff in your slime? Yeah. She put little hair beads in her slime. <laughs> but. So I've already got the helmet, as you guys all know. <laughs> but, as you guys know, I already have the helmet. Beautiful. Uh, an amazing piece. I got it when Iron Man 2 first came out. And then, now I'm getting the Iron Man gauntlet. But it won't be just a little Hasbro toy. It'll be a full-on prop grade suit, uh, suit piece. So I'm really excited about that. Open this thing off amazing helmet as you guys have seen before but the new what I'm really after for helmet wise is the Marvel Legends helmet the Marvel Legends helmet is a full-on prop grade helmet piece but it doesn't lift up I want the electronic one where you have the ring that you put on and you just slide your hand piece back and it lifts up but it's connected to magnets now that's a really cool thing so now in order to get out of this suit I'm gonna show you guys how I do that I'm going to open it down the front because I'm not going to do the sides to uh, the back today. So I'll open these pieces first. I'll lift the main pieces apart like I did last time. There we go. Then we'll disconnect the yellow rod there and the green uh, yellow, white rod there. We'll disconnect this white rod and let this fold down, same, uh, second burst, same, uh, same as the first, <laughs> love saying that, so this will fold down, like so, then open this, you guys are so used to seeing it, there we go, lift that back, and then finally, Disconnect those two pieces, and we have the rest of the suit. So now, well, that happened. Huh. What happened here? Oh, okay. Oh, the suit came undone. <laughs> That's not usually what happens. <laughs> Guess I'll have to figure that out. So basically what happened there was I had stretched the suit a little too far and they broke out of the actual pieces of the back 
for the little pieces that connected to the waist. So those pieces actually snapped and I had to figure that out. So I paused the video guys so you could so I could finish that up, fix it and close it back up so it wouldn't take up so much time on the video. So, thanks so much for checking this out. It's been a while since I've done an upload to this channel and I got to keep it going cuz it has more subscribers than the visual vapor reviews. Anybody who um who is on my channel to see my Iron Man suits, you can email me at masterfowl993 at gmail.com for suit designs, suit specs, and pictures. Um, any parts of the suit that you have questions about, just let me know. I'll be more than happy to help you out and send detailed pictures of how the pieces connect together. So, also, um, the Visual Vapor Reviews is get, and the next video on that channel will be a review of the Horizon Falcon Tech M1 mesh coils. Um, also, any of my subscribers who are on here and haven't seen my Visual Vapor Reviews, Go a, little, um, go a little bit back and you'll see my Visual Vapor Reviews videos on this channel and then be sure to go over to my channel that has to do with the Visual Vapor Reviews. It's just straight up Visual Vapor Reviews. This is Michael Cobb's Visual Vapor Reviews, but the actual channel where that has taken off really for my videos is Visual Vapor Reviews. So my email address for that one is masterfowl1999 and you'll see all my videos there for vape reviews from SS Vape and some of my other vape, vape, vape reviews. So be sure to check that out and we'll I'll try and make some new stuff for the Iron Man suits. Maybe I'll do a revisit of the Mark 15 Hyper Pulse Armor so you guys can get a look-see at that and maybe I'll give it a new name or something like that. But until now, next time, I'm your host, Michael Cobb, and these are Artemis Fowl's Inventions. I'm so happy I could do this video for you guys. If you have any questions, email me. And if you're looking for me on Facebook, you can find me under Michael Cobb. It's a picture of me and my fiance Ariana. We have a lot of stuff to cover and catch up with, so... As the, as the famous man once said, take him to church. See you guys. Peace.